to graphs you're gonna see habitually. Okay, the first being linear, okay? And you guys have all done these before. So a linear graph looks like a line. It is like this, like this, like this, like this. Okay, it can be straight up and down, sideways, but it's a line. There's no curves in it, okay? Um, quadratics is what we're gonna be doing today, okay? Now, a quadratic looks like the shape of what? A U, okay? They can be like this, up and down, Okay, and this is how you're gonna see them most of the time. It's gonna be up and down um, or down like this, okay? They can be like this, okay, or like this way, okay? Those are the four main shapes of quadratics that you're gonna see. Uh, you need to put on the ISS. going to be focusing on today is this and that is the vertex yeah you're gonna have to wait till the video is looking later okay is the vertex okay so the vertex is the first point you're going to be making today so whenever you're drawing okay and this is where i'm saying you guys can be paying attention okay whenever you're drawing the first time you make that dot everything is based off of that dot okay so when we're counting because for quadratics, you're gonna count from the vertex, look at me. You're gonna count from this point and you're gonna go up one and over one, and that's gonna be a dot. Up one, over one, and that's gonna be a dot. And you can see that they go through, okay? You're gonna go back to the vertex. That's really important, because people will count from here and that's not right, okay? You're gonna go back to the vertex and you're gonna count up four, one, two, three, four, and over two, okay? Four, over two, okay? so. The reason for this one, these are both up one over one, okay? That's that first set of points after the vertex. The second set, which is why we go over two, okay? Um, so these are the second set of points, okay? And then as always, if it crosses the, the Y line, that's the Y intercept, it can be crossing way over here or over here or not at all. The graph could be way over here and not touching, okay? And then the X intercepts are where they cross the X line, but we're not gonna super get into those today, okay? But the vertex is the big takeaway. Okay, you need to know where the vertex is at because each every single problem you got to know the vertex. Okay, and you're gonna go up one and over one twice, up four, over two twice. Okay. Teachers and students, part of the interruption. Uh, Kill Laster, please come to the guidance office. Kill Laster to the guidance office, please. Thank you. Okay, so this is the basic basic graph. Okay, the first graph, the mom and dad, just like we all came from somebody, right? And they came from somebody, and they came from somebody, and said they came from somebody. We all have a generational line that came from somewhere. Okay, whatever you believe in, that's totally up to you from way, way far ago. I don't, I don't really care. Okay, but everybody comes from somebody. And so over time, your genes have transferred, and eventually, um, maybe some of you guys will have kids, and part of your genes get transferred, and so on and so on. Okay, everyone came from that one source, whatever it may be. Okay, so the very first one is always going to be this, and it's the mom and dad graph. And the mom and dad graph, okay, starts here at zero, zero. Okay, and then you can see that first set of points. You're going to go up one and over one, up one and over one. Okay, and then we go up how many? Four. Four. One, two, three, four, and over two. Up four, over two. Okay, and again, we're going to be drawing this and, okay, now, what we're going to be doing is not drawing the mom and dad, we're going to be shifting it today, okay? So, when we shift, and I have this stuff up there for you to write on your paper, but, so, clearly you can see if it's on the inside of the parentheses or on the outside, okay? So, if it's on the outside right here, if it's a plus, that means we're going up, if it's a minus, we're going down. Okay, on the inside, if it's a plus, which way do you think you're going? Okay, so we're doing left and right, but um, most people would think you're going to the right because it's plus, okay? But you're actually going to the left. Okay, and then the minus, we're going to the right. Um, for the A, because you see that how there's an A here, every single one of these with the X will always be there, okay? For the A, that's gonna be a stretch or compression. So rather than are you looking like this, Okay, which is our regular one. It's either gonna be stretched way out or way in, meaning it's gonna be really fat and wide or really tall and skinny, okay? So that's what that A is gonna do, and it can flip it upside down. 
okay? And this is what it's talking about. So we can see here that our mom and dad starts here, okay? A plus three made this red one. It was here, that was the original graph. The plus three made us go up three. Uh, my vertex now started here rather than here, okay? Uh, if it's a minus, that means I'm going down. So I went one, two, down two from the vertex and it's gonna start here. Okay, same thing with the left and right, okay? That says minus one, so we're going to the right one. This is our new vertex, okay? Or if we go over, then you're gonna go over two. That means it moved over that way, okay? So all these are gonna be shifting left, right, up, down, okay? And then same thing here that shows you that stretch and compression. Okay, so what is this called? The vertex, that's that first point we're gonna make, okay? And in this case, it's flipped upside down, which is totally okay, but it's still <clears throat> that U shape, so it's still a quadratic, okay? Where is the vertex located on that one? At zero. Okay, it's located at zero. And then for our second set of points, what do you do? Up one, over one. Okay, so we would go up one, over one. Up one, over one. How do we do our second set? Up four from the vertex. Up four, over two. Okay, now here's what some of you guys will do today. You're gonna go two, and then you're gonna try to count back two. You're playing a sketchy game, okay? As you can see, I always go back to the vertex and go up four, over two, okay? So uh, when you get your paper, I suggest writing down on your paper. That's the notes, okay? That's gonna tell you what shifts to make. However, I can't force you to write, okay? It's always moving out. Hmm? And again, if you're watching this from home or ISS, in some people's case, not a name drop, okay, uh, take a second, pause the video, and write that down, okay? You're absolutely going to need that, uh, okay, because I have to turn my screen, and so that's going to, uh, you're going to need it, okay? All right, look at your paper. Okay, where does the mom and dad start? Always, always. Any takers? Oh, my bad. Where does the mom and dad start? Zero, zero. Okay, so before you're making marks today, I will tell you when to make your dot, okay? Um, the first one's not that bad. For the other ones, the second that I put my finger on the TV, it makes a dot. You're just going to be using your pencil, okay? And then I'll let you know when to make your dot. So don't assume that that's a dot because it's not, okay? But I, I know as soon as I even get that close to the TV, it makes a dot, okay? Uh, so that was some confusion on my part last period. So in this case, because we're doing our mom and dad, we're going to go ahead and make our dot at zero, zero. Okay? Our mom and dad graph is much like the other graphs. We're going to go up one, over one. Now, time out. There's a di difference between number two's graph and number one's graph. What is it? Yeah, so the boxes are different. The scaling is different, okay? So uh, don't just assume if you go up and over, that's at 0 0.5, 0 0.5, okay? So make sure you're actually going up one unit, okay? So we're going to go up one and over one and put our dot. We're going to go back to this. What is this called? Vertex, good. So we're going to go up one and over one and put our dot. Okay, we're going to go back to the vertex and we're going to count up four, one, two, three, four, over two, one, two. Up four, over two. And again, ignore my little tiny dots, okay? You'll be able to tell the difference um, of, of the dots I'm making, okay? 
So now that we've got these all graphed, you're gonna go ahead and connect your dots and they should connect like a U, not a V, okay? Cause some of you guys are gonna go, okay? So they should go and then kind of curve down, okay? And then you're gonna draw two arrows at the very top, okay? Because that graph keeps going. You could plot the third set of points or the fourth set of points. In this case, we're not, okay? So that's the mom and dad graph. Every graph is based upon this graph. Now, look at number three. I want you to take your pencil and put it on zero, zero. Do not make a dot, just put your pencil there. Okay, the lead part, because you're gonna end up making dots. Okay, now, when we do these, we work from the back to the front. So we do the outside part first. So is that a plus or a minus? It is a plus. What does a plus do on the outside? It goes up one unit because there's a one here. So now you're going to take your pencil and move it up one. Don't make a dot. Just move it up one. Okay. Now we have a plus one on the inside. What does that do? It goes left one unit. So from here, we went up one and now you're going to go left one. That's going to be your vertex. Now that's going to be your dot. So see how mine, like it made a bunch of other dots. You should not have those on your paper. You should have one dot right now. Okay, from that point, we're gonna go ahead and go up one, over one, both times. Okay, so we're gonna go up one, over one, up one, over one, and you're gonna go up four, one, two, three, four, over two. Up four, over two. Okay, and you better start counting because I already see people copying just off the dots rather than counting. So this is the last one that I do do. Okay, you gotta count the Okay, look at five. Okay, again, we're starting our pencil where? Where should you always put your pencil to start before you even count? Zero. On zero. Okay, so put your pencil on zero. It's right here. Oh. Okay, so put your pencil there. Okay, what does this minus three do? It's going to go down three. So we're going to go one, two, three, and we're here. Okay, we're not making a dot yet, but we're here. Okay, what does this plus four do? Huh? Left four, so one, two, three, four. Okay, that's gonna be what? What is that big dot called? That's the vertex. Now you guys count from here. You're gonna go up one over one, up four over two. Okay, look at seven. What does this minus four do? Get out seven, let's go. Down four. Over how many? Which way? Why can't I say over? Why can't I say over? Yeah, okay, so to the right what? Okay, that's our vertex. Now, time out. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm really not, I swear. 
I certainly hope that some of you guys use some common sense when you're graphing, okay? By that I mean, number eight, here's zero, zero, right? Do you agree? Can I go down? Why not? There is nowhere, okay? Don't be a freaking idiot and draw something like this on your paper. Did that feel right? <laughs> okay, these graphs are edited for a reason. If it's not going in the box on the graph, then you're not going in the right direction, okay? I fair warned you, but there'll be at least one, okay? And I'm sorry, but like, come on, man. Something in your brain had to be like, uh, I don't feel right, okay? That's because it's not. Don't do that. It's no good, okay? Uh, finish drawing uh, that one. Okay, look at number nine. What does this minus four do? Kevin, what's the minus four do? Oh, it goes down. Down four. And what's the plus four do? It's gonna go to the left. Left four, perfect. So that's gonna be our vertex. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do an 11 so I can turn the video off. Okay, that one's gonna go up three. Gosh dang it. Okay, up three. Without even, if you look at 11, without even like knowing, what is the only possible way to go that makes sense? Left. Left, okay, up and, up and left. Okay, otherwise there's really nowhere for it to fit. Okay, so, um, you guys have six to do, go through, get your six done, and then be done for today.